Tree man syndrome is an extremely rare skin condition that results in huge growths that are caused by human papilloma virus looking like the branches and trunk of a tree on the patient's hands and feet and other areas of the body. Today I'll be reacting to a video of a man undergoing surgery to remove some of these nasty growths from the arms and the hands. We'll take a look at the surgery, what the man has gone through, and we'll discuss the condition he's suffering from at length. Let's take a look. Back in Jakarta, Zanal is on his way to theater for his first major surgery. Dr. Asrofi and his team will first attempt to remove a huge cluster of warts from Zanal's right arm. What I'm scared of is the drip needle going in. I'm anxious, you know. I just hope it's over soon. It's absolutely terrible to see someone in so much pain suffering like that. The condition is very resistant to treatment, generally speaking, so this is not child's play. And let's see what they can do for him. Until he makes the first cut, Dr. Asrofi won't know how deep the warts are rooted and if his cure will be possible. We have to be confident in what we are doing, but there are always some risks. That, that's pretty incredible because there's, it's very difficult unless you actually went in and dug and cut into the skin. It's impossible for them to know how deep these things go, so they'll actually have to figure it out in real time in the operating room. And they'll, and they'll see what they can do based on what they find once they cut into the skin. So this is pretty dramatic. The warts on Zanal's body make normal procedure impossible. The veins in his arms are hidden under growths, so a blood transfusion must be made with a needle inserted directly into his heart. Uh, that I don't know about. I mean, it sounds a bit extreme. I watched videos and people with this condition, they do have areas of the skin that are not covered in warts, but I mean, obviously I'm not there with the people operating, but it sounds a bit extreme to actually transfuse blood straight into the heart. They can probably find a large vein somewhere closer to the body, but uh, obviously that's what they went with. Now that's actually great. They're actually praying before the procedure. I think it's a beautiful thing for them to do. They're humbling themselves. They realize they don't have all the answers. They're praying for clarity and to see through the procedure to make sure they don't have unnecessary complications. With Sanal under anesthetic, Dr. Asrofi has an hour and a half to find out if this deep surgery might be the cure. Now, what's interesting is that these surgeries are time limited. You can't keep a patient under anesthesia forever and they want to be conservative. They can put them out for a very long period of time because if they do, they actually, they run the risk of running into other complications. The patient can have a blood clot, the patient can have other complications, and he can be seriously injured if they keep him under anesthesia for a very long period of time. That's why I imagine they have the hour and a half to go on, and they're taking it, they, they're obviously, they realize they're treating a skin condition, they, want, they don't want to make matters worse for the patient. It's bad news. Each wart is fed by a separate artery rooted as deep as the dermis. This is the wart and this is the underneath of the dermis. Here we remove some of the fat. 
what they're saying is that the warts are actually the structure of the warts is deeper than an than a normal wart would be. Most warts actually don't go into the dermis. They're actually in the epidermis, meaning in the upper layers of the skin. This is very unusual. Obviously has a rare condition that makes the skin more vulnerable to these warts forming the way that they do, forming these very large growths. And the skin is able to maintain those warts the way that it is. So obviously those warts are not your run-of-the-mill warts. They're finding this out as they're cutting into the skin in real. That is exceptionally deep for a wart. Warts normally don't go into the dermis, let alone in, into the subcutaneous fat. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely devastating. It can result in a much more extensive surgery and much longer healing period. If they would even risk cutting those warts out, they would have to be very conservative with the removal area-wise, and they would have to ensure that the areas are healing properly. Then there's that patient's genetics. He's obviously prone to these things growing on the skin. So there's no guarantee that the warts are not going to grow back once they remove the first batch of warts. So this is, this is very, very serious. Dr. Asrofi can't guarantee the warts won't return. To cover the patch of exposed flesh, Asrofi's team harvest donor skin from a completely wart-free region on Zinal's stomach. We couldn't get enough skin from his stomach, so we needed to make a mesh graft. Well, he actually cannot guarantee. He actually cannot guarantee that they won't return either way, because again, he's relying on that patient's skin not to grow the warts. That patient has a tendency to grow warts like this, so. I, I really don't know what it is that they can do for him except for just do maintenance treatment in the sense of cutting those warts out and then hoping that the skin won't regrow them quickly enough for the patient to actually enjoy the space that they've created wart free. We slit it and make it like a net which we stretch out so we can cover a bigger area with it. reason why they're making it into a mesh graft is to expand or to make that skin graft go longer than the original area it covered. So they're creating holes in that graft and they're creating that laxity so they can actually expand it and spread it over a wider area. First procedure is complete. Zanal and the medical team must wait for a week to see if it's been a success. They want to see that the area is healing without secondary infection, without bacterial infection. And then the ultimate success would be for him to have normal skin, long lasting over the area without recurrence of the warts that he currently is suffering from. So that'll take more than a week, but maybe the warts actually grow back that fast. So maybe that would be what they're referring to. So this patient is suffering from a rare condition called epidermal dysplasia versiformis or EV for short, otherwise known as tree man syndrome. This is a very rare condition and it manifests as growths on areas on the skin, particular areas of the skin that are affected are the hands and the feet, but more areas can be affected. I've seen patients who've had warts grow as far as the trunk and the face or the back of their necks, but the most sensitive areas of the skin are the hands and the feet and the privates area, perianal area, and the growths are all wart. They're all formed by human papillomaviral infections of the skin. These patients react to the infection with human papillomavirus in the way that they do, creating those very large skin structures that look like trees. Another bit of bad news for people suffering from this condition is that they are more prone to developing squamous cell carcinomas over the areas that are affected. So that's another thing for them to monitor. If you've enjoyed this video, share, like, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the surgery and what the man had to go through to get some relief for his symptoms and the condition he's suffering from. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notices of future episodes. More great content coming your way right from this channel. Thanks for watching and God bless.